The Arizona Wildcats beat the UCLA Bruins. The final score, Arizona Wildcats 57 to the UCLA Bruins 47. The U of A was, uh, the University of Arizona Wildcats were really playing with fire on this one. Uh, I think that UCLA would have loved, 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 loved to get an upset uh, of the um, Arizona Wildcats uh, in this game, especially because the UCLA Bruins are having such a, a rough season. And I mean, they've had a couple couple nice wins. They beat Utah. Uh, that was a big one. Um, and uh, I think they beat somebody else too. But um, so they they're uh, but they've they've also had some bad losses too. So. Um, I think they lost to Colorado, so it's, um, you know, it's just not good. The UCLA really could have used a win today, but uh, after, you know, to tell you the truth, I thought that UCLA, whenever they played against ASU on uh, Thursday, and I really didn't think that, um, and, and UCLA was almost going to grind it out and win the game, right there at the end, but then uh, I think that ASU kind of got into their heads, into the Bruins' heads, and they were, and they kind of let it go, uh, and ASU was able to come out victorious in that game on Thursday, and so I really thought that Arizona was going to be, pretty much, was going to be able to uh, take care of UCLA tonight, because UCLA, I think, the Bruins, I think they had it in the back of their mind that they just lost to ASU. Um, and so they, they crumble or they fall down like a deck of cards um, right there at the end. Uh, at the, the, whenever, whenever they played against ASU, the UCLA Bruins fell to pieces right there at the end and weren't able to finish the game out and finish the game out strong and beat ASU um, like they should have. I think that they should have. I think they should have been able to beat ASU. But um, they, I think they just don't have the full uh, back backbone strength. Uh, that is necessary to finish out a game, and and that's why they lost against ASU on Thursday, and I, and I think that that's why the UCLA Bruins lost tonight against the Arizona Wildcats was because um, UCLA came out on came out really hot uh, right in the beginning. Uh, they were uh, at a seven to zero lead over the U of A uh, Wildcats. And so the UCLA Bruins were doing very, very well. Um, the U of A Wildcats were playing tentative, uh, very, uh, very uh, nervous, and things like that. Um, and so they, they shot were shooting uh, horribly. The University of Arizona Wildcats were shooting horribly in the beginning, and 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 uh, the UCLA Bruins. Um, and the, sure, they were a little bit nervous right in the beginning also, just like the Arizona Wildcats, but the UCLA Bruins, um, they started to, started to feel comfortable before, uh, the Arizona Wildcats did, and, and that's why the, uh, UCLA Bruins had jumped out to a 7-0 lead, 7-0 lead right in the beginning. But then the um, then the Arizona Wildcats uh, went on a a huge run, huge run, and then and they were able to uh, I think they were beating what was the score at halftime, uh, 32 to 18 uh, in favor of the Arizona Wildcats. Um, so the Arizona Wildcats kind of straighten out their, kind of get their heads straight a little bit. Uh, 
The thing about it was, was the Arizona Wildcats played good defense, really, really good defense the whole game. It's just, um, uh, I think, at moments, then they kind of uh, um, fell apart. And the thing about it was, is that the reason why the U of A uh, Wildcats were had those had those deep moments of uh, you know being I think the I think the UCLA Bruins went on a 17 to 0 run right in the beginning of the second half and uh, tied and actually were beating the Arizona Wildcats in the second half um, but the um, the 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 reason why that the Arizona Wildcats um, were letting go with such a bad score uh, and falling apart right there, um, especially when the second half began, was because the Arizona Wildcats didn't. Uh, they played good defense, but they they couldn't get in their shots. They just couldn't. None of their shots would go in, and, and um, uh, you know, I, I guess there was a. It can be seen, you know. I mean, look at it. Uh, two, two for ten for Brandon Ashley, um, Stanley Johnson. One for nine, you know. Uh, Rondé Hollis Jefferson. One for six. Um, that's. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, that's really bad. But but Dusan Ristic from the Arizona Wildcats was able to um, kind of pull the University of Arizona Wildcats back into this game. So you know the, we were uh, we were the University of Arizona Wildcats were losing to the UCLA Bruins seven to zero um, in the beginning, but then Dusan Ristic um, the the freshman uh, stepped up his game and got some nice rebounds and uh, was able to uh, get the Wild Arizona Wildcats back into this game. And then whenever he got the Arizona Wildcats back into this game, then uh, Gabe York, um, the sharpshooter from three-point land, was able to knock down a, few, a couple uh, three-pointers. And so that really added um, strength and um, uh, uh, a comfort level to the Arizona Wildcats. And that's whenever the Arizona Wildcats went on that huge run. Um, like I said, the, the UCLA Bruins had seven, and then they ended up with they ended up scoring nine more points in the rest of the half. But then the Arizona Wildcats shot, they scored 32 points in, in the uh, in the in the uh, in that first half. So that that's what 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 was going on and, and uh, like I said, Dusan Ristic uh, got pulled the pulled the Arizona Wildcats back into this game. And then the uh, and then uh, the help with the help of Gabe York and the, the three-point shooting uh, helped the Arizona Wildcats get back into this game too, uh, and that was what was that kind of brought the Arizona Wildcats um, from that deficit, big-time deficit right in the beginning, to uh, believing in themselves and and uh, uh, shooting a little bit better. Um, Stanley Johnson, uh, one for nine. He never really got into it. Um, I don't know. That was he. Sometimes it, it's it's funny because you know he seems like he's very um, has it together, you know, and he's very uh, uh, very businesslike and stuff. Um, but uh, it seems like he can get rattled really bad by these opposing teams um, you know like against uh, 
against UNLV, he uh, got rattled, you know, and, and uh, he, I think he had oh, what was it, seven turnovers in that game, and um, and then I, there was, I think, against, uh, I think against USC, he had like six turnovers, and uh, you know, so it's sometimes he that with these games like Oregon State and with ASU they had done something that had gotten into his head and he he wasn't a very good he's not a very good away um away game player because there's uh he needs to um get more comfortable with uh you know with the, with the harsh with the harsh crowd um and uh, you know, uh, not be so dependent on on the uh, the fan favoritism uh, from the home crowd. Um, so that's something that he definitely needs to work on. Uh, he will get better. He will get better. But it's just you know, if this is going to be, if he if Stanley Johnson is going to be a one and done, then he needs to, uh, you know, he. He needs to develop his game more and, and be a good away uh, team uh, away team player. Um, speaking of team play, I think that's one of the reasons why the Arizona Wildcats were uh, shooting so badly right in the beginning um, was because there was too much individual play and not not enough team play, not enough assists being passed off. Uh, uh, T.J. McConnell ended up with uh, five assists tonight, and the only other person that got two assists was um, uh, Guy Bjork with two assists. So uh, it was uh, they didn't play as much team ball. I, I mean, as far as the amount of assists against um, USC, Whenever the Arizona Wildcats played USC on Thursday, then the then then the Arizona Wildcats had 19 assists. But tonight, uh, the Arizona Wildcats only had 11 assists, and the UCLA Bruins had six assists. And and that's one of the reasons why the UCLA Bruins um, uh, fell apart tonight was uh, was because they only had six assists total for the whole game. So they were playing more individual ball and. And um, they were relying heavily on uh, on Alford, I think. Uh, yeah, Br- Bryce Alford from the UCLA Bruins. Uh, he scored 22 points tonight, so he was uh, he he did fantastic. Uh, three of those 22 points, or three, uh, well actually nine of those 22 points were three pointers. Uh, he shot five for six from uh, from the charity stripe, so uh, that's um, what's that? Fourteen, fourteen of his twenty-two points or were <clears throat> from the charity stripe and the three-point three-point land. So he did some really fantastic. Bryce Bryce Alford did some really fa- for the UCLA Bruins did some really fantastic moves tonight, and and the and that's um, and. And he he kept the UCLA Bruins in this game because uh, Looney, um, Parker, uh, let's see, um, and um, let's see the the other guy, um, Tom Thomas Welsh. Um, they all fouled out for the UCLA Bruins and and. Um, uh, Gollman uh, for the UCLA Bruins was also in foul trouble with four fouls. So that was one of the reasons why the UCLA Bruins were not able to finish out this game uh, strong, and that's why the Arizona Wildcats. Because it was, it was uh, the Arizona Wildcats were down by one point for um, for some, of, you know, for 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 some of the game right there in the second half, but then. Then uh, the UCLA, then then the Arizona Wildcats were able to uh, slowly um, get their way 
uh, and and uh, start to beat the U UCLA Bruins. And then whenever uh, you had uh, Looney fouled out um, and Parker fouled out, then well Parker fouled out first, and then Looney fouled out, and it's it was just a snowball effect. It got worse and worse and worse from there, and. And that's whenever, you know, that's whenever the Arizona has just finished out the game pretty much. They were 20 with, um, with a 50, with, with a 10 point victory over the UCLA Bruins. Uh, if you look at the field goal percentage in the first half, uh, the, uh, air for the Arizona has they, they shot 36 percent, uh, field goal. Uh, field goals uh, in the first half, and then they shot uh, 30 percent in the second half. And it was, I think, they were kind of apprehensive. The University of Arizona Wildcats were playing very apprehensively uh, right in the beginning, and that's why they were down by seven. And they had scored no points and were down by seven at first, but then. Um, in the second half, then they got even more apprehensive, and uh, then that was whenever the UCLA Bruins went on a 17-0 run, a 17-0 run. Then the then the Arizona Wildcats were kind of able to, um, I guess, kind of wake up um, and play a little bit more team ball. Uh, and that was, and also that was whenever the UCLA Bruins uh, started to get into foul trouble, uh, major foul trouble. Parker, uh, Looney, uh, for the UCLA Bruins started to get into foul trouble, and that that was kind of whenever the Arizona Wildcats were able to uh, get back into the game. I am, I'm. I'm very uh, nervous about how the Arizona Wildcats are going to do against uh, Utah at Utah or in in Utah. Um, I, that's going to be because uh, they're going to have a, a, a hostile environment, uh, and so it's going to be very difficult for them to um, um, uh, be successful. Uh, and, uh, you know, and I think that's going to be a big, big teller for the, uh, um, for the uh, big dance whenever the guy, the selection, uh, committee decides, you know, who, who's strongest and who's not. And, and that might be another teller for the Arizona Wildcats if they were able to win the Pac-12 championship, um, they won't uh, if they lose to Utah, but uh, anyway, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. But anyway, that was nice to have Jackson Cartwright back in the game. Uh, he had one assist tonight. Um, T.J. McConnell, like I said, he had five assists tonight. Uh, 11, he had 11 points. Stanley Johnson, even though he didn't uh, didn't get a lot of points tonight, he only ended up with seven points tonight. Um, zero for three from three-point land. Uh, five for seven uh, from the charity stripe. So he did pretty good on there, on that uh, aspect. But then, uh, uh, but he ended up with uh, ten total rebounds. So, I mean, he did something um, positive. He was adding some something positive and. And that's one thing that the Arizona Wildcats were were um, uh, nervous about whenever they faced the UCLA Bruins was uh, the Arizona, how the Arizona Wildcats were going to be able to um, rebound against the UCLA Bruins. Uh, um, the UCLA Bruins have big, tall, athletic guys also, just like the Arizona Wildcats, but they... Um, but they just haven't got it together yet. They just aren't working at it as, as a team just yet. Um, but uh, so the Arizona Wildcats had a total of 40 uh, rebounds, while the uh, UCLA Bruins had a total of 23 rebounds. Uh, 
the Arizona Wildcats had 14 of those uh, total rebounds were offensive, and while, and the UCLA Bruins had this is I uh, this is amazing I can't believe one they had the UCLA Bruins had one offensive rebound I uh, this unbelievable uh, to me I, I I it's hard hard for me to believe but if you look at the amount of second chance points that the Arizona Wildcats had compared to UCLA Bruins. The Arizona Wildcats had 16 second chance points while the UCLA Bruins had zero second chance points. So, uh, and and the, um, just the, 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 the rebounding, you can tell there. I mean, it was, that's why, uh, that's one of the reasons, what well, that's one of the things that you can see by the uh, UCLA Bruins only having one offensive rebound is they didn't have any second chance points. Uh, and uh, um, let's see, uh, points in the paint. Uh, the year, it actually, it was quite, quite close. Actually, it was 22 points in the paint for the Arizona Wildcats compared to the 16 points in the paint for the UCLA Bruins. Uh, a lot, what I saw a lot of was uh, Parker. Um, and, uh, um, somewhat of Alford, um, drill pen trading and getting into that, um, uh, getting into that, uh, and, and Looney also, uh, getting into, uh, getting into that key and, and, um, drill pen trading and, and, and getting some shots. But, but the thing it was is, is they weren't, uh, Kicking it out as much as they as much as they should have, although they did very good in the uh, uh, from the three point land, um, uh, making five for fourteen, which is thirty five percent. That's not too bad. Um, the the Alford was very good from three point land. Looney was also very good for the UCLA Bruins from three point land. Um, Let's see. Uh, we had three turnovers from Stanley Johnson, which is better than seven turnovers or six turnovers. Uh, uh, seven turnovers uh, he, he had against UNLV. Six turnovers he had against um, uh, USC. Um, so he, uh, less turnovers, but you know you got to have an assist. You gotta have a better amount of a higher amount of assists than you do turnover. So uh, T J McConnell with with five assists and, and two and, and one turnover. Um, I would like to see T J McConnell get more of his average, which is six or seven assists a game. Um, but uh, I think that the Arizona Wildcats, like I said, were just playing very tentatively. Um, Kind of skittishly uh, in this game, and they were d nervous for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, bench points. Uh, the bench bench uh, bench players: uh, Dusan Ristic, um, uh, Gabe York, Jackson Cartwright, Elliot Pitts <coughs> had 27 scored 27 points. Uh, for the Arizona Wildcats compared to the bench points from the UCLA Bruins, which had zero bench points. So um, they just, the UCLA Bruins just don't have a very deep bench, and, and that was one of the killers for them is whenever they start to get their uh, starters into foul trouble, uh, then they didn't have anybody really, the UCLA Bruins didn't really have anybody else to rely on uh, to come in as a second stringer. And uh, make a good impact on the game, uh, uh, make be a, uh, a good player in the game. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, uh, the Arizona Wildcats were able to beat the UCLA Bruins, and I think that they're one of the reasons why the Arizona Wildcats uh, had kind of a roller coaster ride tonight was because they were nervous and they thought at the same time they thought they had this game um, but then whenever the UCLA Bruins went on that 17-0 run in the second half 
um, and were actually beating the the Wildcats, then I think that was kind of a wake up call for the Arizona Wildcats that they needed to um, not only do good on defense, they were doing good on defense, but they need to play a little bit more team ball, not individual ball. I think they're I think you can, I think they kind of were falling back onto their individual play like they did in the first half. I think that's what it was. Why the reason why the Wildcats were having such a hard time in the beginning of this game because they were playing more individual ball and also in the beginning of the second half they were playing more individual ball and I think that that's whenever the Arizona Wildcats um, just have a horrible time. Um, but if they play, if they can play more team ball, because um, uh, their defense was great, then uh, pretty much pretty pretty good most of the game. Um, there was lapses every once in a while, but anyway, uh, the uh, uh, I I think that it's just it's too much individual ball and not enough team ball, and and if they can do team ball. If the Arizona Wildcats can play team ball whenever they go up and play Utah, then I think the Arizona Wildcats have have a good chance of winning that game uh, against Utah. Because Utah, like I said, Utah is going to have that fan base, and they're going to um, they're going to be really hungry for the Arizona Wildcats, and they want to beat the Arizona Wildcats really bad. So. The Arizona Wildcats are going to have to play team ball. Team ball. Uh, you know, getting assists, getting a ton of assists, 19 assists, like I said. UCL, USC, again, the Arizona Wildcats game against USC on Thursday was just fantastic with 19 assists. You know, that's what you're looking for. Some 15 assists or more probably would be, would be, uh, would be the, a good starting point. Um, for a team, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, the Arizona Wildcats beat the UCLA Bruins. The Arizona Wildcats 57 to the U.